All right, welcome back there, YouTube. So, uh, life got a little hectic, a little crazy. Uh, the truck is in the same condition that it has been in since I installed the the ring and pinion gear. Um, however, today, hopefully, we can fix that. I have been buying parts. Here we have a sway bar from UMI Performance. All right, so this is really what I've been doing. I've been waiting on parts. Got the Viking double adjustables, uh, shock extenders, UMI uh, sway bar. You already saw that. Both sides. Got the split mono leaves installed with the cow tracks. Got the bars on it. So uh, a lot of this time has been me waiting for these parts to come in. And today I got around to finishing it all up. So now, now I need to take the jack stands from underneath it and uh, put it on the ground. Well, the dollies, but put it on the dollies because we're done with the rear end. I, I, I kept waiting for parts and money to come in and parts to get get brought in and it all finally came together so this is what it is man it's pretty nice actually i really like the sway bar it's nice and heavy and beefy looking it's got adjustable it's got adjustable uh sway bar end links you better keep it straight if it wants to turn So yeah, so that's kind of what um, I've been waiting on, what I've been working on as the parts come in. Man, my my schedule's kind of ridiculous right now. Um, pretty busy. So when I get in, I don't have time to, I took vacation today. So when I get in, I don't really have time to mess around. So whenever I got the parts, any spare time that I had, I'd, I'd throw them in there, you know? And, try to push forward it's been a slow boring process and i've been trying my best to you know stay motivated but it's kind of hard but now that we're getting so close it seems like a lot of the little problems are starting to show their little heads you know so i don't know we're gonna keep on trucking i'm gonna put the truck down and then I have uh, some more little parts I might be able to put on today because I'm doing pretty well on time. So, all right, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, so um, if you don't have, I mean, the, the biggest thing that takes the wind out of my sails is like having to drill holes. So like, I'm not sponsored by these people at all. I'm not sponsored by anybody but myself. But man, go get you some solid drill bits man i think i paid like 200 dollars for this set of drill bits i think i got it from granger but yeah because you know i've always had harbor freight drill bits and yeah by far the biggest thing you can do to improve performance and get some solid drill bits. <laughs> so the Harbor Freight ones are trash, man. Unless you're working with like wood or, you know, PVC or something. But man, anything with the frame or, you know, any kind of metal, those serious metal, get some good drill bits, man. Shop advice. All right, so I decided to film this. That way, if I die, y'all can laugh at me. All right, so here we go. Big mamma jamma. Oh, God. Shit. Santa Maria. Yeah, we need 
knows? Big bitch. Blech. Ah! Anything else in there? And there we have it. Old one, new one. I think they weigh the same though. Man, they, this is this is crazy. This, they're heavy. Very, very heavy. All right, time to install. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Low control arm installed. I do need probably a longer shot because that dude is tapped out, but I do have plans for that. Will goes on. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, I'm trying to get it done to where we can get some, some down the road shots. You know, maybe a little testing. See what she gonna do. But, uh, so I, I, bought, I bought that Terminator. Uh, I think I need to buy a new one because I bought it used. So what I think I have, I didn't change any of the sensors, but I have two sensors that are not working properly. So I don't know exactly what's wrong with those, but um, I tested the sensors, it ain't the sensors. So, and I did buy the Holly used, so maybe somebody, you know, sold me old faulty Holly, cause that's not outside the realm of possibility. So I don't know. So that's what I'm probably end up doing. Probably end up having to rewire this whole truck again. But if that's what it takes to get this thing running, then that's what it takes to get this thing running. Because man, I have dreams of driving it. I have dreams of driving this truck and gapping people's assholes. But, like I said, that's all for now. The suspension should be done. Um, I just need the front shocks. And I think the suspension is, is pretty much complete. Like, I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's anything else I can do on the suspension. So then, what we have left is exhaust. And to get the, the Terminator working... And then I can go get the glass changed, which I've been saying, oh, I've been having this truck for four years. I've been saying I need to get the glass replaced for four years. Ugh. I don't like that at all, but this shit takes time, I guess. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all come back for some more, okay? <laughs>